I start by taping off the bottom of the doors. Now the rocker panels come in a length to cover from the front fender to the rear cab corner so I just cut out what I needed to make sure that I got all the rust out of the rocker panel. If you look I don't cut deep on the lower part of the rocker panel. That way I don't cut through the lower support bracket on the truck. Now I'm going to run me a line down the bottom of the doors to remove the paint off the rocker panel. Now it gives me good clean metal to cut on. One thing with a plasma cutter you got to make sure you are uh, got a good ground paint's cleaned off of it and the uh, make sure that the clamp is actually clamped onto the piece you're cutting off. If not, if you don't watch out, if you just try to clamp it to anything that's got a good ground, it'll try to come through, a, may try to come through a ground, body ground somewhere and melt down a ground or burn up a computer. So you need to make sure you're only on the piece you're fixing to cut off. I found if you uh, drill a pilot hole in the center of the pinch weld, then the pinch weld drill bit works really good. If not, then you'll end up the you'll find that the bit wants to walk around everywhere and don't do nothing but piss you off. A lot of these tools as I've already had, but I went ahead and got this cheap Harbor Freight one, and I think the bits was just a few bucks. So that's something if you've got air, you might want to invest in and give you extra tools for your toolbox. Now, if you've got the money, I suggest just go ahead and get a good one. This thing here won't take off ball joints or anything like that that you could really use it on. But it does a good job on this, and it's not much money. Here I'm taking and grinding off the rest of the welds that's left on there after you cut it off. That way your panels will fit good and flush tied up against it. Here I can go ahead and knock off any excess rust before I put the uh, black star. You don't have to take the rust off, but uh, I just felt like it'd be better if it was. Here I start soaking it down with the Black Star Rust Killer. I mean, I put it to it too. I go ahead and put some on my frame. If you'll watch it, as it uh, cures out, it'll start turning black. Now with Black Star, you wanna make sure that you don't, uh, you just shake up and get what you need at a time. Because if you get the rust into the Black Star, as it sets, it'll change the chemical reaction in the Black Star and it'll be no good. Now with Black Star, you can, uh, Paint on it, sand on it, do whatever, whatever you need to do to it. You'll notice that uh, the Black Star doesn't change colors if there's no rust. And you can take and uh, when you get done, you can, I let it sit up for about a week. Then you can paint over top of it, sand it, whatever you want to do with it. And now this prime here is, uh, I put a heavy coat of sealer prime. You don't have to uh, top coat it or cover it with anything. I also put a heavy coat of weld proof primer and let it set up on the back side of the panel I'm fixing to install. Here I take and uh, pre-mark all my weld holes and then sand off around the weld the primer so that I get a good weld. On this side, I just butt it up on the cab corner in and then tack it in. It's just a butt weld on this side. But if you'll notice that uh, where my clamp is on my ground strap for my welding, I also got a, a jumper clamp hooked to it and then hooked to the actual panel itself. That way I don't have to take a chance on burning the ground into. If you look, you'll see the panel moving up and down. I make sure that uh, it's square in the front before I do my next tack weld. I run my welder a little hot 
but uh, you got to be patient and let it cool down as you fill in. You can see where I burnt through. I eventually do fill it in, but you got to be slow and patient with it in order to fill all the gaps back in, but you can do it. And then I work my way down, push the, keep a panel really, real tight up against the seam. Now I move underneath, I take a, and clamp a panel against the brace under the bottom and then I take the welder and just run it until I see a bubble form on the bottom of the panel. That way I melt the brace into the lower panel to keep from doing a pinch weld. Here I take and grind down all the high spots where the welds blow through and get it ready for body filler. I just got some uh, fiberglass bondo body filler, body filler, and uh, took and sanded it down and wherever, whatever spots I had that was a little low, I went ahead and filled it and sanded it down again but it come out real good and it's easy to work with but it does take quite a bit of sanding. I started out with a fine grit and then I realized that I was going to have to get aggressive with it and ended up getting me a, a palm sander but the palm sander worked, worked out pretty good. So it come out, it looks a hundred times better now so for uh, I think I've got two hundred dollars in the parts I want to thank you for watching and if uh, you guys got any ideas of uh, better ways to do this, I'd like for you to leave a link and uh, if you want to see more of my videos, I'll be posting some more so if you want to subscribe, I thank you for watching.